Hello, it is Hex here, and welcome to my second episode of Crappy Pastas. For the creepy pastas, they're feeling a little less than fresh. Today's feature presentation is called The Journal by Derp Butt, who has submitted a very large, let's say, amount of questionable creepy pastas. This, which is the most readable, and the one that is less likely to give me a headache reading to you guys. So here it is. The journal. The site of a plane crash was discovered recently. There seemed to be no corpses, and among items recovered from the crash was a worn-out leather journal found in a nearby bush. The journal had a few pages written in it as follows. Day 1, 11.36pm. I have absolutely no cl clue where I am, and I don't know how long I've been here either. I just remember boarding the plane. There were about 30 other people. I remember that we were all just taking off from the airport in Orlando. That, that was about the time I fell asleep. I just woke up and I don't know how long it's been. I feel like I've been asleep for only a day, but it must have been much longer, because now I'm alone in the forest with no other people in sight. I can't even, I can't even see the plane anywhere. All I have is my watch, this journal, a carry-on bag, a water bottle, and a few snacks. I can only assume that the plane must have, have crashed, but I don't seem to have any injuries. And I'm sure the remains of the plane and the other passengers wouldn't be too far away. I could only hope this was a dream, because it just doesn't make sense. Day 2, 8.45. I just woke up again. It seems as though it, this isn't a dream, and I really am lost in a forest somewhere. I can only see trees for miles and miles around me. I'm going to look for any signs of civilization. 11.28 a.m. I've been walking for several hours. It seems like the forest keeps growing in width. I'm almost positive I haven't been walking in circles. 9.44 p.m. I still haven't found civilization yet, but I did find really big ditch where I'll think I'll be safe for the night. Day 3, 10 a.m. I've been awake for about an hour now. I'm starting to worry because my supplies are beginning to run low. I need to find a steady source of water, and fast. I remember boarding the plane in mid-November, but the sun seems hotter than I can remember. 11.23 a.m. I decide to start walking again. 5.44 p.m. I found a bottle of wine and some matches just lying on the ground. I can't explain where they came from, but I know that they'll come in handy. 7.58 p.m. I made a fire, but it began to rain, so it did not last very long. I'll try and get to sleep. Day 4, 3 a.m. I'm beginning to hear strange noises. The rain has stopped, so maybe I can light a match to use as a torch and try and find out where they're coming from. 3.26. I'm really scared now, but I feel like I'm being watched, not just by one person, but by several. 4.03 p.m. Uh, a.m. I've been walking for about two hours now, and there's still nothing but forest. I tried going on ahead, but something pushed me backwards. There's some kind of force, force field type gate surrounding this forest, and I cannot get past it. 4.15 a.m. I found the plane and the corpses, but there's something else there. A creature of some sort. I can't see it, but I can hear it gnawing on the flesh of deceased plane passengers. I'm going to try and get a closer look. I'm going to try and get a closer look, and I can only hope that it doesn't see me, because if it does, I'm screwed. 4.28 a.m. I have never been seen something so terrifying in all of my 19 years. I am currently hiding in a bush with a, f with a full view of the backside of the monster. It has an almost human-like shape, except it has a tail and a bone-like horn. Its skin is red, and it isn't wearing any clothes. I can hear it mumbling something to itself in what I think might be Latin. Even though it's almost 4.30 in the morning, there seems to be no sign of the sun coming up. I can't steady my breathing, so it must, since it must be a matter of seconds before the creature notices me if it hasn't already. And I am absolutely terrified. 4.28 a.m. 4.25 a.m., sorry. The mumbling stopped, but the sun still won't rise. I can't look up, and I refuse. I can hear the creature walking towards me, and I can tell that these are the last words I will ever write. And that's where the journal ends. Alright, so here's what I'm going to say about this crappy pasta. It is certainly a bit better than P666. Ugh. And here's why. At least it has some form of decency to it and plausibility. Now trust me, this isn't plausible in any way. It's ridiculous, that's what it is. But there's that. Anyways, he apparently is writing this journal as if it's 
I don't know. It's like the most ridiculously important thing to him ever. And then he sees a terrifying creature and decides, oh, let's get a good look about of it. And just walks right up to it. And is as opposed to going away, he just writes in his little journal and hopes it will go away on its own. Oh, that's stupid. Anyhow, so, oh my gosh. He, so he's been walking force field type gate, bunch of this mumbo jumbo ridiculousness, and it's not scary, it's ridiculous. And of course, it has plenty of cliches. Latin, sun, oh my gosh. True crappy pasta right there. And all I can say is, it was definitely worthy of my crappy pasta show. And until next time, people. Goodbye.